What's good? We back. Triple P. Paul Pickett Podcast. You see the name on the back. Before we get started, hit that click now subscribe button. Let me sip some of my juice. Don't forget the video version goes to my YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Audio version goes to Apple, Google, Spotify, Amazon, Odyssey, CastBox, Deezer, iHeart, Player FM, Podcast Addict, Podchaser, Stitcher, TuneIn, and more. Um, we got a few topics to get into today. Uh, Simone Biles returning the comments. And let me get into some NBA trades at first. All right. Um, what do we got? The new news. We got Julius Randle in the Knicks. They extended him four years. I mean, Julius Randle's good, but he, he can't be here. If you, if you plan on, like, having a winning tradition when Julius Randle is your number one guy, nah, he's more of a, a number three, to be honest with you. Report, Kelly Oubre Jr. reaches two-year deal with the Hornets. I mean, like, I was wondering what the Hornets going to do anything. You know, like, they didn't really do nothing. I mean, my my friend, he don't really like this move. You know, he's a Hornets fan, too. He don't really like this move. But, I mean, it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. And Kelly Oubre can ball out like he did with the Suns. It could be good. Uh, Pelicans keeping Hernan Gomez. Report Birch remains with Raptors. Hawks reach deal to bring back Williams. Uh, so Lou Williams is coming back on a one-year deal. I think it was for $5 million. Uh, George Hill returns to the Bucks on a two-year deal. So he'll be a backup point guard. Kaminsky reportedly returning his sons. I don't know why. Kaminsky, I mean, he should be out the league. He's... He's a, uh, he's a liability. He's not an asset. 76 is green. Agree to deal. Danny Green, uh, two-year deal to stay with the uh, Sixers. But, not, yeah, nothing big. We're still waiting to see what happens with um, Ben Simmons. If Ben Simmons gets traded or if um, Dennis Schroeder. Dennis Schroeder might get traded still. I mean, he well, it might be a sign and trade, but he's definitely not going back to the Lakers. He done. He overplayed his hand tremendously. Um, and that's really that for that. Um, let me get into this Simone Biles return in comments. <sighs> I felt like she only returned because the criticism she was getting. To try to appease some of the criticism. You know, let me get this. Let me let me let me be clear about this when I say this. Yes, athletes do get criticized. And celebrities and entertainers in general get criticized more than the average person. Yes, because you you know you're in the spotlight or stuff like that. You know. But um at the end of the day, if you take all that criticism and you just let it control your life. You 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 get sensitive about it. You you feel some kind of way. It it doesn't look good. You should really care about what everybody thinks about you. Like as long as you're comfortable in your own skin and you're happy with your life, you know, are your bills paid? Is your rent paid? Do you got everything that you need in life? If you do, you really should care what people think about you after that. So, first of all, Simone Biles, even though, you know, podcasters and sports people criticize her, don't take it with a grain of salt. Don't sit there and, you know, dwell on it and try not to get sleep over it, you know. So, let me say that before I get into it. So, she, I feel like she basically tried to return to try to appease the people who were criticizing her, calling her a quitter, and she was a quitter. The way she did it, I mean, it was it was very, it was non-classy. Then, like, I want to really get into her comments about 
people wanting female athletes to fail and they're in a more did she act like she said act like they're in a more criticism and scrutiny than male athletes. Get out of here with that, man. Like that's bogus. That is so false a narrative. First of all, women's sports doesn't even get the attention that male athletes get. Every single, every single basketball player that somebody considers as a great player, the standards they're held to is if they won a championship or not. Charles Barkley's, John Stockton's, Carl Malone's. Like, there's plenty of great players that don't win championships. Everybody, there's not enough championships for everybody. That means every uh, one great player would have to win a championship every single year. You know? And, I mean, every single NBA player that's great. They, I don't care how great they are. They got a championship. They, yeah, he was great, but he don't got a championship. Allen Iverson was the man, but, but he don't got a championship. Charles Barkley, but... Steve Nash, but, you know, so NBA players get way more scrutiny than any freaking a- athlete. And, and same thing with quarterbacks. Like, if you're a great quarterback in the, the NFL, why wasn't he good enough to carry the team to the Super Bowl and win? Nobody's doing that with one female athletes. Ain't nobody going to the WNBA to every single good player in there. Like, why can't she win a championship, you know? And let's stop this, man. Women's sport doesn't even get – no women's sport gets as much attention as males except soccer. It's – it has been broken down, fact, find it, and check. Soccer, women's soccer is the only sport that generates more revenue than the male sport. This WNBA doesn't even generate a fraction of what the NBA generates. So this idea that people even are paying attention to them enough to scrutinize them as much as the male athletes is bogus, fairy tale, imaginary, made up narratives. They don't even have enough eyeballs, you know. And another reason, another thing is, you can't blame men for why women's Basketball is not popular because only 10% of women watch the WNBA. Men is more around 20%. So women don't, you got to blame the women for not supporting it. And I know if you, if a man asks a woman out on a date, if we in LA and I ask a chick out on a date and I say, hey, honey, you want to go to the LA Sparks game? Or do you want to go to the Lakers game? Ten times out of ten, women are picking the L.A. Lakers game. That's not our fault. Now, you give them a choice, and they pick the Lakers every time. So stop it, Simone Biles. Y'all don't even give enough tension. And what are we talking about, Olympics? We only pay attention to y'all once every four years. Every single game, every year, LeBron James is getting scrutinized, criticized. Kevin Durant, all these great players, all these great NFL players. Same thing with baseball. Stop it, man. Women's sport doesn't get nowhere criticized and scrutinized as much as men's sports. And there's nothing sexist about the pay gaps except maybe in soccer. Because ain't no female sport Profiting more than a male sport except soccer. They ain't no female football league is making as much as the NFL. Ain't nobody even paying attention to any female football leagues. They're not there is even no professional female football league, period. The only you got soccer and really basketball, that's it. I don't think there's a professional women's baseball league or softball. And if there is, they're not getting scrutinized or criticized one bit. Not one iota. That is a lie, man. Nobody checking for him. Volleyball, whatever. You know. You know who we are scrutinizing? The men's track team. The men's 4 by 100 relay team that came in sec- sixth. You know. We ain't scrutinizing the women's soccer team for losing. We're laughing at them. We're laughing at them because they... 
they want to go, they're, they're more worried about this the being woke at the Olympics than they are actually competing and winning the gold. They're more worried about, you know, being anti-Americans than competing. So, it ain't about criticizing. It ain't nobody criticizing or scrutinizing when they lose. We're just like, yeah, the, you get what you get what you deserve. Simone Biles, stop it, man! Stop it! You trying to you trying to paint yourself as a victim? You making yourself a victim by quitting, by coming back just to try to make it look like you ain't a quitter, and then putting this false narrative out here that female athletes are criticized and scrutinized and under more pressure than male athletes. It's bogus. Stop it. It's not true. It's fairy tales, imaginary made up. And that's that. I don't even, I can't even get more into that. You know what I'm saying? You know? And I don't think there's any more NBA news. Um... There ain't really no big NFL news. I mean, Carson Wentz got hurt, and he's talking about his replacement. You know, I don't know how that's going to pan out. Carson Wentz gets hurt. I'm talking about bringing back, uh, I guess, Phillip Rivers for one year. But, um, yeah, NFL season should be starting soon. Once that starts, I'll be ramping up my NFL talk. Um, there really ain't too much to talk about, um, you know. Ain't too much to really talk about. So, yeah, hit that click now, subscribe button. My name is Paul Pickett, host of Triple P, Paul Pickett Podcast. We're like uh, 43 episodes in. Episode 100, buying a new camera. I already said that, you know, but getting started, you know what I'm saying? Getting it moving, pumping out content. Check me out three days a week, Monday. Wednesday and Friday, and you can check out my marketing vlogs on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And Sundays, I pretty much don't put out no content. Sundays is relax day and whatnot. Don't forget the audio version of my podcast goes to Apple, Google, Spotify, Amazon, Odyssey, Castbox, Deezer, iHeart, Player FM, Podcast Addict, Podchaser, Stitcher, and tune in. Um, I also want to shout out. Shout out the uh, Dizzle Brand. Always got shout out the Dizzle Brand. Dizzlebrand.com. Check them out. Um, follow them on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and YouTube. Dizzle Brand. Uh, it's cognac, agave, tequila, orange liquor, mango mix, and crisp lemon. Come soon, soon to a ABC store, club, and bar near you. Check out Dizzlebrand.com. Also, if you need online market promotions for your music or your brand, check out Promo Palace. Dot biz. That's promopalace.biz. Also, if you're a dog lover, animal lover, or a cat lover, um, check out newlitter.com. That's N-E-W-L-I-T-T-E-R.com, newlitter.com. We got our new litter apparel on there. We got shirts, hoodies, shoes with um, different dogs' designs on there. We got cats coming soon. We also got things for actual dogs to wear, like dog bandanas. And we got dog bowls and dog tags and whatnot. Once again, I am your host, the one and only Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast, otherwise known as Triple P, where I give you nothing but music, sports, and politics three days a week. And I'm going to start ramping up the music and the politics as I get a lot of new juicy topics coming in and whatnot. You know, thank you for tuning in. Peace, and I'm out.